WWL signed on air 64 years ago, and since then, we've been proud to bring you the sights and sounds of New Orleans into your home. Yeah, we get asked about stories we've covered all the time and the people we've met along the way, so we thought it'd be nice to share some of those memories with you each week. This morning, we are taking you way back to October 1985. Here's the late, great Frank Davis with this morning's Throwback Thursday. <laughs> it's Halloween in the Crescent City, y'all. And what better way to find out what's going on than to take a horse-drawn purse ride? Y'all come with me. <laughs> First stop, of course, the tomb of New Orleans voodoo queen, Marie Laveau. Ooh, you can tell it's Halloween. Look at the marks. Ooh. And of course, Halloween means haunted houses. I'm not talking about the ones for the kids. I'm talking about the real New Orleans haunted house. That's the Madame LaLaurier house on Royal Street. Right here, they say, way back when, there were ghosts and goblins and everything. You live right across the street from the old LaLaurier haunted house. Yes, I did. Did you ever see any ghosts? No, I've heard a lot of stories. No ghosts? Like uh, dragging of uh, chains, like early in the morning and stuff like that. You think they got okay. ghosts over there? Uh-huh. And then Halloween means costumes, but that's just for the kids, right? Nah. -uh. Adults are going out of their mind, and they're turning it into a mini Mardi Gras. It anything goes, and it's great fun. You're telling me that for a New Orleans adults, Halloween is spelled P-A-R-T-Y? Oh, you, well, New Orleans is spelled P-A-R-T-Y. Of course, it all depends on where you go in New Orleans to find Halloween. Some folks don't even worry about business on Halloween. They come to work looking like this. So what, is, what does New Orleans do at Halloween? Party. <laughs> party? Party, 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 huh, girls? That's yeah. don't we? Yeah. Well, y'all, there's nothing else to say to you other than happy Halloween. I'm Frank Davis for Channel 4 Eyewitness News, and this is Naturally Nolans. <laughs> <laughs> Frank was so talented. I mean, he did great stories. He was great in the kitchen. Oh, my goodness, amazing. We had so much fun with Frank. Uh, you, you know, we missed him when he retired, and then when he passed, it was just, it was heartbreaking. I, I still keep in touch every once in a while with his, his uh, wife, Mary Claire. So. Oh, yeah, he definitely captured the spirit of New Orleans, and I do agree it's spelled P-A-R-T-Y. <laughs> yeah, well, he was naturally New Orleans, and he was kind of like a Renaissance man. I mean, he could, he could do anything. Yeah. <clears throat> he was a fisherman, a hunter. Um, uh, he could play guitar. Yeah. He was a producer, a writer. I mean, he, he just did, did it, all. it all. I all hate right. people like that because I'm not. Well, we knew that. Okay. Yeah. But thank you for being honest. Well, I just want to make sure everybody knew because a lot of people think, uh, well, <laughs> except What's for like, you. <laughs> do you. I'm going to sit back and let you keep digging this hole. A lot of people think, what? <laughs> well, maybe, maybe they don't think that. Maybe I think that. No, they think you're fly. And you are Eric Paulson. I'm going to stop teasing you. 752.